sensing that you're going to love this next story. It's about a celebrity psychic who says he can make contact with the dead. Is he on the level? Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Do you know of anyone uh, yeah. who would fit that bill? Yeah. Wow. Just 20 years old. Great hair, quick smile, small tan boy with a TV show, a brand new book, and a waiting list stretching to 2017. Usually I work with objects. Do you happen to have any objects on you for me to hold on to? Yeah. Tyler Henry is the Hollywood medium on E. This energy of this younger woman is like almost insistent in the way this is coming through. He's channeling Anna Nicole Smith for her baby daddy, Larry. I don't know what this is, but I'm seeing an image basically of like a big hat. <laughs> I met my, my daughter's mother in the month of May right. in Kentucky nice. with a crazy hat on, like you mentioned, <laughs> at the Kentucky Derby. Ah, that's the thing. Hi. Hi. How are How you? Are you? Nice to meet Great you. Great to meet you. I'm Tyler. Chloe, oh. thank you for coming. Ooh, Kardashians. Did you always know that you had, like, a gift? When I was 10 years old, my grandmother was ill with terminal cancer, and as she was getting really ill, I woke up one night and knew she was going to pass, and we got the call two minutes later that my grandmother had passed. Oh, my God. He reads mainly low-rise celebrities, bags, big ratings, and gets recognized a lot as we chat on Santa Monica Pier. We've got hundreds of people around us. Are you feeling energies? Well, at the moment, I'm kind of overwhelmed because my gift doesn't really work like an on or an off switch. It's more like a volume dial. Earlier today, we were allowed behind the scenes for a reading in a beautiful Beverly Hills home. And you've met the lady now who you're going to be reading? Just now. I know her first name. Manuela Herzer, one-time companion of media mogul, Sumner Redstone. So have you gone to the bathroom and Googled? <laughs> nope, not possible, because I had no idea who I was going to be reading. Are you a tall skeptical. He does mostly celebrities. And so you know that it could be staged. OK, so <laughs> let's see what comes. We'll get back to Manuela's reading in just a moment. Gosh, great to meet you. Yeah, too. Tyler's great MO is this. Apparently, he just shows up, has no idea who he's reading. Which side of the family was she specifically on? On my dad's side. On your dad's side. Claims yeah, okay. he's not a big like celebrity follower or TV watcher, so princess, may not know any real housewives? If she walks in the room, I feel like everyone looks at her. Tyler was um, connecting with Carolyn um, Bassett, who was uh, my closest friend. I'm healthily skeptical, but open to hear what he has to say. I'm the first to say that when it comes to this industry, there's a lot of people who are not real. Who has a J name in the family and there's a man who's passed. It, that type of banter is a very clear indication that someone isn't authentic. I have a reference to a J-E name on dad's side. If we have a Jeffrey on dad's side, that's where I would go. I don't know generally who they are, who they're with. But So do we have any Jeffreys on dad's um, side? Jeffrey's my dad's name. OK, so. that would be it. <laughs> so sometimes I need the help to understand where that information fits, because I'm getting a very specific tidbit that the client can help validate. I asked for a reading, but Tyler didn't seem up to it. <laughs> can, can we not do it here? Can we well, sit down for half an hour? It's a little overwhelming, I'd say, in this kind of environment. All right, let's get back to Manuela's Beverly Hills mansion and her reading. I'm going to be really curious to see what comes out today. I'm confined to the kitchen. They don't want too many energies in the room. I'm just going to scribble. Um, that's my way of kind of connecting to you and away from the other energies of people in the room. On dad's side of family, I'm getting dad, and I'm getting a reference to five. So there's a reference to five siblings in a family. We're four boys and a girl. I was holding back because I feel that if you tell him things, then what's the point? Although she actually gives him quite a lot of information. So someone would have passed away, like, around this time of year without giving anything away. Do you know um, of anyone passing away in October? My dad. If this person is speaking to you, why don't they just speak normally? We don't really have a physical body anymore when we die to be able to communicate. Symbols, feelings, impressions that I basically have to take and deliver to the client. Do you have a brother that named his son after himself, but there would have been a whole discussion about the name and, and actually doing the name and figuring out how are we going to name this child. Does that make sense? <laughs> My brother named his son after himself. Right, makes and sense. there's always been like <laughs> like a whole thing. A image. whole thing about it. And I just have to get this out really quickly because it's like a random thing, but um, check and see if someone in like South America died through non-natural means. Like if someone dies in a car accident or if someone has their life taken from them. I'm trying to think who that could possibly be. Um, I have to, I have to, think yeah. I, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Do you have a brother who works around boats or water? <laughs> yeah, I or, do. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's a captain. Okay. That's not what he does for a living. Right. But yes. But he, yes. yes. So, who's Carlos? My brother. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I was impressed with 
getting the name Carlos. Thank you. So your mom actually has a little bit of a susceptibility to a fall. She's losing the ability to walk, so absolutely, I can see that happening. I'm in shock because I'm sure positive he's never met my family before and he knew their names, where they lived. They asked that we not film the rest of the session. And he spoke about my nephew who just passed suddenly. He had a heart problem and he just said how happy he is. Tyler has said he wants to work with parents of kids who have committed suicide. You were going to be influencing people's emotions around the most traumatic experience they could possibly go through. Do you feel you have the right to do that? I would say that in every reading that I do, the goal is to provide closure. And parents who lose children need closure more than anybody. Oh. Thank you so much. He was brought on this earth to do something really great. She's just special. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles. Tyler's book, Between Two Worlds, Lessons from the Other Side, is available November 1st.